How's it going guys, it's your boy Amdo here again and today we are back with another Harry Maguire Jr. career mode episode. You know the drill, there's no chit chat, let's go straight into the matches. Today's first match is gonna be against Millwall at Bramall Lane. Another easy 3 points for Sheffield United if they play like they played so far. And Harry has 20 goals in 12 matches. A crazy stat for a championship player. First attack of the match, Harry has a chance. It's blocked, I was too selfish, I should have definitely passed that to someone. But we get the ball, here he is again. Great save by the keeper. This is a good sign, it's 7 minutes on the clock and we already had 2 great chances. But here come Ilwal in the attack. It's a back pass. And it's a poor shot in the end, an easy save for our keeper. Harry Maguire! There is definitely no DNA test needed, he's the true son of Harry Maguire. And Millwall again on the attack. A great back hill in the box. A phobie took a shot, but in the end it, it went straight at the keeper. Millwall are actually playing well, maybe I was too cocky to say that at the beginning. I'm making the run, give me the ball. Harry's in the box, fake shot. It was too obvious the defender intercepts that. And here's a pass into the box for McBurney. McBurney misses another chance. I'm gonna get diabetes from this guy, definitely. Here's our second corner crossed in, Harry with the volley, a great save by the keeper. And another corner for Sheffield. Oh my god! That was such a dreadful pass. Well, our passing is 53 rated after all. We are definitely gonna need to work on that. A phobia leaves it, Savile takes a shot. And it's again straight at our keeper, we got lucky this time. Wait, Savile? I hope he's not related to Jimmy. And it's half time, it's nil nil. Neither side could break the deadlock in the first half. There were just some average chances, nothing special. Let's hope that changes in the second half. And Harry asking for the ball like he always does. Give the ball back to me. And again. Take a shot. A lucky deflection. And there it is. We get the lead in the second half. Harry Maguire on the score sheet again. Look at this heavy guy doing all these backflips. Scientifically impossible. Harry gives Sheffield United the lead. It was just inevitable. Harry gets the ball at the edge of the box again. A smart pass in the middle. And again Sheffield United playing like Barcelona. It's 2-0. McBurney got the goal. We don't like this guy. But the most important thing is we have a 2-0 lead in the second half. Let's see this beautiful piece of art goal again. Just passing it inside their box like in training. We are on the attack again of course. Harry leaves it for Billy Sharp. And again a lot of passing around the box. Just beautiful mates. Just beautiful. Here's a cross for Harry. We've missed that one. And a mistake by the defender. Come on, mate, you got this. Denied. Ah, for feck's sake. 90 minutes on the clock. This is probably over. Harry with a shot. Oh, so unlucky. We hit the crossbar. That was an amazing shot by my man. Let's try again, I guess. This shot goes over the bar. And that is that for this match. And after that win, Cardiff City are 7 points behind us. Fulham are 8 points and Bournemouth are 10 points. We are definitely the number one contender for the championship title. Into match number 2 of the episode, it's against Barnley away. And according to many people, no away games are easy in FIFA. Oh god, Harry destroys another player but this time without touching him. And Harry gets the ball on 20 yards, he is gonna go alone. What a goal by his weak foot! Top bins, my man! Let's see this from another angle. Oh, this goal is so satisfying. Great work, Harry. And also, it's your weak foot. You just killed a spider in the corner of the net. Here come Barnsley with some nice passing. An easy save for our keeper in the end. Here they are again. Another shot straight at the keeper. Barnsley don't look much of a threat. And it's another shot straight at the keeper. I told you guys, Barnsley is not a threat. We are gonna beat this one easily. We are inside their box, complicating a bit. Harry with a fake shot. And it's another beautiful goal. The same goal as the first one, just in the other corner. Harry, what are you doing? You are not a dog, mate. <laughs> Let's take a look from another angle. Wow, this goal is much better than the first one. They lose the ball in the middle. Harry attempted a rainbow flick but failed. But he's still through. Harry, it's a hat-trick, easy as that. Three beautiful goals by Harry to wrap up this hat-trick and probably this game. It's just like I said in previous episodes, you can chip the keeper easily even if he is on his line. Harry is gonna come off, he has done all he could in this match and it was definitely more than enough. The game ended 3-0 after Harry came off 
another three points and one step closer to promotion. Coming up next, we are facing Derby County in the round of 16 of the Carabao Cup. And of course, Harry is the first face on TV, scored a hat-trick in his last game and hopefully in this one too. A long ball to Ivo Sell. He has done the defender. Great save by the keeper. What a chance for Derby County at the start of the match. Pass it, I'm on the run. And Harry receives the ball. He is onside. One on one with the keeper. Oh no, we have missed this. How did we miss this? We are not gonna get another chance like this. Across to Harry in the middle. But here comes the rebound. Berge! A great save by the keeper. A powerful volley by Berge. Oh, and it's hit this guy in the head. He is definitely gonna have some head trauma. Harry is on the ball. We give it to McBurney. Oh, a great back heel. Here's the chip. Oh no, it's hit the crossbar. This would have been our best goal yet. And here come Redding on the counter attack. Sibley is with the ball. A shot straight at the keeper. Nothing to worry about. And it's half time. A tight cup tie between Derby and Sheffield. It's nil nil. A pretty dull first half with just a few chances. Harry is making the run. One on one, he is through. Takes a shot. And another beautiful goal. Top wins by Harry Maguire. He just repeats the same thing he has done in the last match. We need to have another look at this. Harry from a shot at the edge of the box. And it goes directly into the top left corner. Derby still didn't have any dangerous chances. Oh my god, what a goal. Oh my god, what a goal. They just scored a screamer from outside of the box. And just as I was saying that they didn't have any dangerous chances, they scored this. It wasn't such a powerful shot, but the ball had a lot of dip on it. It went up and down and fell into the goal. The keeper had no chance. Now Harry gets in the box. A great roulette. A great skill. And that was too much. I was too selfish. And we lose the ball. Mikulji glitches and misses the ball completely. And here comes a cross for Harry. Oh no. And the game trolling me again. It's a nice block. But that was a shot right there. Darby want this as much as we do. Pass in the box. Another save by the keeper. This keeper is gonna be our player of the year definitely. Now here's a counter attack for Sheffield. Harry is running forward. We are past the defender. But Harry is so tired he can barely run. He's catching up to us. A pass in the box. McGoldrick! McGoldrick gives Sheffield United the lead in the dying seconds and we are going full speed ahead into the quarterfinals of the EFL Cup. A flick into the box by Harry and McGoldrick with the diving header to score this beautiful goal and to take us through in the cup. And that is the end of the match. We pulled off a sensation in the last minute of the game. Our players deserve to celebrate this. It was a tough game away at Derby and these two lads got the goal to get us through. And to finish off the episode, we are playing against Blackpool at Bramall Lane. Blackpool are currently bottom of the table and we should beat this game easily. But let's try not to underestimate them. It's a sunny day at Sheffield. Hopefully we will not ruin it by the end of this match. A mistake by the keeper. Harry was chasing him. Now we are gonna ask for the ball in the middle. Let's pass it round. Come on, cross it to me. And there it is. Harry with the header to score in the 7th minute against Blackpool and of course comes the knee slide celebration. Let's see again. I don't know who this was but he crosses the ball to Harry and the tallest man in the box. Wait, he didn't even touch the ball. Look at these guys. The ball hit his hair and went in. Man, this game surprises me day in day out. Here comes Harry. Let's not be selfish this time. And a poor shot in the end, the keeper saves it easily. And Harry makes the run between the defenders. He's all alone. For feck's sake. And here come Blackpool. Who is this guy? 5 star skill moves. It's in the box. And our goalkeeper saves our ass again. Here come Blackpool again. Again our keeper saves it. Why are Blackpool so tough to beat? I don't understand. They are bottom of the league. Now Harry with a flick in the box. It reaches no one. But here comes the rebound. Harry! And a great save by their keeper this time. And it's half time, only the 1 0 lead. Not such a good performance by Harry in this match. Let's fix that in the second half. We definitely need to win this match, guys. If we don't want Cardiff and Fulham to catch up to us. Blackpool attack down the wing. A dangerous pass in the box. 
And this is exactly what I was afraid of. We missed our chances and Blackpool punished us, they score a goal, an easy goal. He was all alone in the 5 yard box and the ball goes through the goalkeeper's legs. Blackpool are now bossing this game. Oh no 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 no! Oh the keeper catches it barely. That could have been the silliest goal we have conceded ever. And here they come again. Stop them guys, they are getting through too easy. And again the keeper saves us. My lord and savior, Davis. Come on guys, you lost the ball again. And here's Blackpool. Brawler. And again the keeper saves us. You defenders are gonna have to give a job to this keeper in the dressing room later. Here comes the corner. Another chance for Blackpool and another save by Davis. Man, Blackpool deserve to win this match. I hope they don't. Now here comes the next corner. And again they jump. And we clear it away. Somehow. No, no, we don't. I lose it. And it's blocked. Oh, this match is so stressful for me. And the match ends 1-1. I am glad this match is over, guys. Harry didn't even touch the ball in the second half. I was just watching my team getting destroyed by Blackpool. What an embarrassment. Harry is holding his head in disbelief. What could have been and what should have been. And we are gonna end this episode in disappointment. But that doesn't matter. That is football, you're gonna have ups and downs all the time. Now, thank you guys for watching. If you would like me to finish this career mode before FIFA 23 comes out, tell me in the comments, leave a like, and if you want to see more content, subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.